الحمد للہ الذي فضل بعد الايام على بعد وامر اسبي استعداد ليوم نلقاه بنافلة والفرد وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه ومن سار على نهجه الى يوم العرض the last ten days of the holy month of ramadan are very important days for the Muslim. Very important days for the believer. It's a time for istighfar, to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a time for righteous deeds, for piety, for charity, sadaqah, for reading the Qur'an and pondering and reflecting on the Qur'an, the kitab Allah, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is perfect and has no contradictions. And it is a time to remember a hadith of the Prophet wasallam to busy yourself with knowledge, seeking the knowledge, listening to lectures, uh, doing beneficial deeds, being kind to neighbors, serving your parents, serving the elders. All of these things are important all year round. However, during the month of Ramadan, especially so, and even more so during these last ten days. And it is in the ahadith of the Prophet wasallam in which we come to know the great blessings and barakah that are in these ten days. And the greatness... And this is in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And it was according to the minhaj or the methodology of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to, be, to work hard and be extra strong in, in, in one's ibadah, in one's worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to stay up in the late hours, to stay late, not watching television, not staying up late uh, looking at the internet and downloading new videos and movies, but rather to stay up late worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Staying up late reminding yourself or reminding your family about the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and how to come closer to Him. Staying up late remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praying to Him in the night prayer. This is in accordance with the methodology or the minhaj of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. As it was narrated by Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, كَانَ يَجْتَاهِدْ فِي الْعَشِرَ الْأُوَاخِرِ مَا لَا يَجْتَاهِدُ فِي غَيْرِ So the Prophet, uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to strive in the last ten days of Ramadan, in a way in which he didn't strive, or even more so than he did normally. So this shows us the importance of striving during this great time, during these last ten days and nights, especially the nights. Now we fasted, we fasted during the days, and we hope and pray for forgiveness for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our shortcomings and hope for His forgiveness. But it doesn't end when we break our fast. We don't then go and run, rush to the television, rush to, the, uh, uh, to download the, the, the latest uh, music video or the, the latest record. We don't rush to do those things, but rather we rush to continue and strive to continue in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remembering Him. And this is something I want to remind myself and, and others of the importance of when we break our fast to not be loose in our speech and not be quick to just forget as if, as if our worship was only contained during the time we fasted. But rather, and especially at this time, these last ten days, that we should continue on in the nights remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You take time out, you sit with the family, you enjoy, you eat, and you, you, uh, and you pray. And you also take time to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Remember Him. 
and seek his forgiveness and favor. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as was mentioned by Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, she said, "Ida dakhla ashra, uh, ashra, shadda mi'zarahu, wa ahya laylahu, wa aqaz ahlahu." Mutafakun alayhi. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when it came down to the last ten days, he used to strive even more, as we mentioned. You know, he. He he would he would even become more, uh, you know, generous in his charity, and he would pray more, even so much so where, uh, you know, it is it's it's uh, the scholars differ over whether he prayed all through the night and even took out time to sleep, but that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you know, read the Quran, recited the Quran, and made du'a and dhikr and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa taala, so that this. His ibadah increased. This is the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu So if we want to follow his sunnah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then we should be doing the same thing. Also, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to, as as uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha mentioned, ahya laylahu, that he made his 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 evening became, uh, you know, he stayed up during the evening. That he he stayed up and he made it a lively uh, evening. And a lively evening, evening by what? By worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By extra prayer. By extra righteous deeds. And the last point she mentioned in the hadith is that the Prophet sallallahu used to wake his family. So he used to encourage his family and wake them up for the prayer to help them get the same, to get some of the reward and the forgiveness that the Prophet sallallahu was seeking sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who benefit from these last 10 days of Ramadan and benefit from all of our worship wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Muhammad